Pretty sure Jell smiles now. <laughs> 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 Give me a okay. You are all right. Well, help. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Hallelujah. Um, happy Sunday morning to you. And uh, because we're not gonna see you till next Sunday, I just wanted to say a happy Thanksgiving to you. Wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz día de gracias. Yes. Este jueves. Okay, yeah. and I'll get to all that in a few minutes. But we want to welcome all those of you that are joining us by audio video to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Yeah. Amen. So we want to welcome you. Bienvenidos a todos los que me escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. And He wants to bless you all the time. I tell you this all the time. So it's time for you to grab on. You know, <laughs> we talk about maturity all the time. We grow in Him. We grow yes. into things. Amen. So we grow physically. But we also need to grow spiritually. And then, yes, we're growing. <laughs> growing. <Yeah. laughs> grow he wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct you. Amen? Yeah. Listen, leave change. And this is it. You know, on a daily basis, <laughs> it's been a while since I used this, but on a daily basis, you hear a lot of negative things. But whose report are you going to believe? Yeah. Are you going to believe the, the report of a lying <laughs> world? Are you going to believe the report of what the doctor says? Are you going to believe the report of what they are saying? Or are you going to believe what the word says? Yeah. Amen. What are you going yeah. to believe? Amen. The main thing is you have to get in the word of God and yeah. find out what the word of God says about yes. you. And stop confessing all that negative stuff. Uh -huh. And start confessing what the word of God says. Yeah. So the thing about it is, what are you going to do about it? Uh -huh. You have to do something about it. You know, just don't hold passion to it. Don't hold so-and-so or, or sister so-and-so. But what are you going to do about it? You know, it's time for you to start confessing that good report. It's time for you to start saying the positive things, the good things that's in the Word of God for, for you. You know, you're always excluding yourself. You need to include yourself. You're in God's team, whether you know it or not. But it's time for you to find out that you are called of God. You have a call Amen. of God, you know. And uh, quit waiting for the world to approve you because God's already approved you. Amen. So I'm excited. I don't know about you. Yes, we yeah. have a day of Thanksgiving. But I want here to tell you that every day should be a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Every day should be a day of giving thanks. You know, uh, I, first of all, <laughs> I wanted to thank the praise team because they sang a couple of songs that just touched me. Amen. And they should touch you also. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Yeah. Amen. I am forever grateful. Yes. Amen. You know, <laughs> once in a while, it's okay. Those of you that are watching my video, it's okay once in a while to raise your arms and just say, thank you. Amen. Amen. Praise Him. Worship Him. And raise those arms. You know, Jesus stretched His arms mm -hmm. and He was crucified. But you know, before He gave Himself, before He, 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 he gave Himself, He says, thanks to the Father. You know, and see, he also says, Father, forgive them. Yes. Amen. But it's okay to raise your arms and worship him. Amen. Amen. It's okay to cry because the Bible says Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes, I cried. <laughs> I am very emotional. We, it's okay to be emotional. And we're going to be talking about this. So, you know, hey, now I get emotional when I'm watching uh, the Cowboys, whether win or lose. I'm crying. I'm either crying because... They can't win or, or, or I'm crying because they're so good, you know. <laughs> but you need to do the same thing. So yeah. you know what? Before I uh, go any further, I just want to say this. Grab your Bibles. Soldier of God. Yes. Warrior of God. Amen. Oh. Grab your Bibles. Let's say it like we mean it, church. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, we grow each and every day. One day at a time. That's a beautiful song. One day at a time. But we grow. You know, when you when you put the ladder up to the house and you want to climb up, whatever you're doing, you got to take one step at a time. You just don't go from step one all the way to the top. You take one step at a time. Yeah. And you know, God is but people. Yeah. God is but all these things there to meet you every step of the way. Yes. Yeah. Amen. But you know, as you go past, <laughs> He takes those. Those things are gone, you know, just yeah. let it go. 
don't you know the past is gone don't 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 camp out and say well you know i'm not an, I, i'm no good because you are you're somebody well let me preach it to you the way i wrote it the way god gave it to me amen. so give him thanks giving him thanksgiving amen and thank you praise team again the songs we sing give thanks with a grateful heart yes. always thank you lord you know if you have nothing else to say get before him and just say thank you yes. Yes. Amen. amen say thank you and i'm forever grateful amen we we, we cannot forget these things Praise yeah. God. So this week we celebrate Thanksgiving on this Thursday, November uh, 26. The world, including the U.S., has forgotten the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Mm. Oh, we celebrate Thanksgiving. Your parents are not teaching their children the way they should. The Bible tells us in Proverbs 22 and, and 6, it says, train your children the way they should go. When they're old, they won't depart from it. Yeah. But, you know, we celebrate Thanksgiving. We celebrate Christmas. Why? For presents. We celebrate mm. Thanksgiving because we get to eat turkey. But that's the main way. Why do you celebrate Christmas, uh, Thanksgiving? Mm. Because we get to eat a good meal? Mm -mm. No. no. Amen. The U.S. is a nation that's been abundantly blessed yes. by God. Happy Thanksgiving. Remembering the goodness of God. Go to the next one. Here's what. Here's what. He says, God says in Genesis 12 and 3. Write that down. Mark, you know, write this down. It says, I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you it will be through you I'm talking about israel the yes. nation of israel yes. amen that all the families of the earth shall be blessed yes. amen. amen and we have been blessed because we honor them and we support israel amen and we don't want to get away from that so when you pray you pray for israel yes. amen thank you carmen so thanksgiving should be on top of our thanksgiving list you know we're always having lists me being military always had a list always had a priority list and my priority list should be first jesus matthew 6 33 seek you first the kingdom of god amen but thanksgiving should be on the top of our uh uh, uh thanksgiving list amen every day i mean every uh, birthday every holiday we draw up a list of gifts of presents we want to give or who to invite or whatever there's another list that we often forget to write. This list of reasons we should be thankful and grateful to God. Amen? <laughs> well, what are you talking about? Yeah, what am I talking about? We should have a list of things. And if you don't know what to say, just say, thank you. So don't say, well, I don't know what to say. There's so many things. All you have to say is, Lord, with a grateful heart, just Amen. say, thank you. Amen? He knows he knows even when you can't talk he knows <laughs> amen yeah. but if you can get it out say it speak yes. it the list of thanksgiving should be daily yeah. and not yearly and we're going to get into more of that and you're going to hear that a lot so it's okay happy thanksgiving and some of the scriptures when we're talking and we're going to get there in a few minutes so thanksgiving is once is celebrated once a year as a national holiday many christians think of thanksgiving as a time too and this is the list okay so check it out enjoy a special meal with family with friends co-workers and the media of course it's harder now because of the virus <laughs> so they don't want you to get together <laughs> enjoy time off some of us get a special four-day weekend hallelujah <laughs> praise god thursday friday saturday sunday hallelujah praise god <laughs> so why do you celebrate thanksgiving because of my time off <laughs> enjoy visiting family and friends enjoy parades enjoy sporting games enjoy great parties uh, enjoy uh, shopping guess what <laughs> especially right after Thanksgiving they call it Black Friday <laughs> everybody's excited hey have you heard of Black Friday what is Black Friday I said I don't know what Black Friday is well it's a shopping day <laughs> and everybody knows <laughs> enjoy <laughs> credit card day enjoy the opening or the start of Christmas shopping right after Thanksgiving man we're right on it man <laughs> things of God is like <laughs> forget it <laughs> hallelujah so we reduce Thanksgiving to a day of uh, uh, from giving thanks and being grateful to uh Turkey time, mm. <laughs> time off, <laughs> sporting games, or parades, whichever 
list or whatever number you want to name them time off turkey time sporting events whatever always remember the true meaning of thanksgiving is jesus yes yeah you you, you hear this a lot in on, on christmas but every day is a day of thanksgiving and the reason is jesus amen. jesus christ amen yeah. he died for all of us he died for our sins yes, amen father sent jesus into me uh, we're getting ahead of myself but john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave he was the first to give mm -hmm. and we should be grateful he sacrificed his son he came and paid the price yes. the sin price <laughs> amen that we may be free amen. that we may be healed all the things amen was put on him he was sacrificed yes. jesus is the reason for thanksgiving christmas and every holiday and every day keep this in mind every day it's because of him you know what did you get a wake-up call <laughs> did you wake up amen. hallelujah amen. thank you lord <laughs> open them beautiful eyes and see the world and say thank you lord giving me another day to serve you <laughs> amen and we're gonna get a little more excited in a few minutes amen. always remember hallelujah giving thanks should be daily and not yearly <clears throat> Well, you know, hey, when Thanksgiving come around, I'll say my thanks, you know. <laughs> well, you don't have a relationship or you're not in love with your God. Mm -hmm. And you need to either get saved and have an attitude adjustment. Have an Amen. attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Not an attitude of just say, well, you know, right. I said, I. <laughs> right. but here it is. On a daily basis, give thanks. Psalms 118.24 uh, says this. This is the day. And you woke up. This is the day the Lord has made. Some translation says we. Or you could say I. Or you could just scratch that and just put your name there. Yeah. Jose yeah. will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. But you don't understand. We're getting snowed in. <laughs> you don't understand. We're having fires all over the place. You don't understand. I mean it's bad out there. It's so hot. I can't go and do anything. But you know what? Regardless of circumstance, situations, yeah. it don't matter. Uh -huh. It says rejoice and be glad in you. Thank you, yeah. Lord, for giving me another day to serve you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Right. We got to get Lord. over this, you know. Yes. <laughs> we detach ourselves from the world and serve God and yeah. not the world. Yes. Amen. Yes. Say, Lord, you've given me another day. I'm going to do. What can I do? I'm locked up in here. Well, God is with you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you pray? Mm -hmm. hey? Why don't you spend time with him? Do something. Call somebody yes. <laughs> and tell them, you know, God loves you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Say something. But there's a lot of things you can do regardless of what's happening outside mm -hmm. or circumstances are. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to go through a series of uh, scriptures here. Happy Thanksgiving. It says, give thanks to God for he is good and his love endureth forever. Amen. Psalms Amen. 107 verse 1. You can mark these down. You can go check them out for yourselves. Keep going. Just offer unto God thanksgiving. And of course, this is Psalms 50 and 14. You can go find it for yourself. Uh -huh. Amen. But thank you, Lord. Give thanks. Mm -hmm. Give him thanks. Thanksgiving. Keep going. Here we go. First Chronicles 16, 34 says, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is what? Good. Good. And his love endureth forever. Amen. Amen. So learn to give thanks. You know, not just when... He meets whatever you ask him for, but on a daily basis. Yes. You know, on a yes. daily basis. Keep going. <clears throat> Here we go. Psalms 92 and 1. King James. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord yes, and yes. to sing praises unto thy name. O most high. Yes. Amen. And to sing praises. I'm sorry, but <laughs> if you don't like my singing, he says I can sing to him. <laughs> So close your ears. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> but it is a good thing to give yeah. thanks unto the Lord yeah. and raise your hands and say, thank you, Lord, and to sing praises unto him. Mm -hmm. You know, when you start doing this, the enemy don't like this. That's right. So he's going to take a yes. fight. So you want a good way to get rid of your enemy, mm -hmm. the devil? <laughs> start Lord. worshiping God. Stop yes. singing. Start praise singing and give him yeah. thanks. And he's going to flee. He says, submit yourself yeah. to God, resist the devil, and he'll flee. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sing, praise him, and the enemy is gone. Say, I'm, hey, I'm checking out, I'm gone. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> All right, so it's 1 Thessalonians 5 18. In everything, 
give, give thanks. thanks. Mm -hmm. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Amen. In everything. Thank you. Everything. Amen. In everything. Mm -hmm. Man, these are good. Keep going. I think there's... Yeah, that's good. Okay, that's where I want to be. John 3.16. We just went through it a few minutes ago. But he said, For God so loved the world, He gave yes. His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have Everybody everlasting life. life. Amen? Yeah. John 3.16. And then this is our text. It's going to be Psalms 100. Mm. It's a psalm of thanksgiving. Let's go there. So I want to read it to you from the... King James, and I want to read it to you from the Amplified. It's a song of praise and joy. It's a song of praise. Amen. This, these are good. You can read one all the way through. We'll read one one a day. Yes. You know, there ain't no need for you to be lonely. There ain't no need for you to be sad. Get yourself rejoice and be glad. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Get in the Word. Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. All of you, including yourself. <laughs> Scratch that all and put your name there. Yes. It says, serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, I'm gladness. sorry. <laughs> serve the Lord with gladness. Okay? I just want you to hear this because <laughs> you're supposed to be glad. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Whining. <laughs> Whining. <laughs> complaining. Murmuring. Mm -hmm. Gossiping. <laughs> Remember what I told you, we're the church of the gospel, not the church of the gossip. <laughs> Verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. For we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. We are his people. You are his person. You're his child. Okay? So, he's telling us all. He's talking to us all the time. What God never talks to me... <laughs> Open your Bible. Yeah. Open it and he'll read to you. And he'll talk yeah. to you all the time. <laughs> and verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. <laughs> so you get to read it first thing in the morning, yeah. even while you're laying down. <laughs> mm, yeah. Lord, thank you. I just want to my soul. Oh, come in and praise you. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Amen. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know about you. Amen. For the Lord is what? Yeah. Good. His mercy is Ever everlasting. Right. And his truth endureth to all, all generations. Right. Amen. Well, let me read it to you from the Amplified. Amen. Says says this. Says a psalm of thanksgiving and for the and for the thank offering. Mm. It's a thank you offering. Amen. Make a joyful noise unto the land, unto Excuse me. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. Verse 2. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Mm -hmm. Verse 3 says, Know, receive, recognize, and understand with approval mm -hmm. that the Lord is God. Mm -hmm. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. That's it. We and we are his. Okay, this is the Amplified. It says that we are his. You're a child of God. You accepted Christ yes. as your Lord and Savior. He says you are His. And He's not going to leave you alone. He's going to be with you. He's going to, he says He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. Amen. So he says, and we are His. Mm -hmm. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Verse 4, enter His gates with thanksgiving and a thankful offering unto His court with praise. Be thankful and say so to Him. Bless and affectionately praise his name. And verse 5 says, For the Lord is good, his mercy, and everlasting kindness, and everlasting, and his faithfulness, and truth endure to all generations. Yes. Amen. And just saying a few more things. But he is a little more personal, more affectionate. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, he your a child of God. Enter into his case with thanksgiving. Amen. On a daily basis, enter every day with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And hallelujah. So, Praise God. In verse, well, that, that was uh, verse 100. The psalm was written long before Thanksgiving Day, long before uh, Turkey Day, or before the, before the turkeys were ever stuffed. <laughs> long before the pilgrims in America, you know. Hey, thank God for the pilgrims. But 
God was before them. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. So hey, uh, I like history too. But why don't we get into the history of the Word of God? Amen. Amen. We magnify men. We magnify all of man's history, but we don't magnify the God that created them and put them here. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So come on now. Long before there were parades and football games, long before America became a country or a nation. Amen. And, uh, you know, you, you read the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic which stands, one nation under God and to the Republic which it stands. Amen. They, they want to take God out of everything. You know, I saw, I, I, I've seen this before, but I saw it yesterday again. <laughs> you know, they want all prisoners to study the Bible. Well, so why did they take them out of grade school? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or high school. If they would have kept it in grade school or high school, <laughs> that would have never had to happen in prison. Amen. But thank God, you know, still, I'm glad they're able to use the Word of God, read the Word of God, and study the Word of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving does not need to be centered around some special day we said on the calendar. Amen. But every day. Yes. Amen. Jesus paid the price for yes. all. Amen. So Amen. every day is that day that we celebrate. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That today is my day of Thanksgiving. I just want to give you thanks. Amen. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Amen. Thanksgiving should come from uh, your heart, your spirit, daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. I told you I was going to hear that a lot. So giving thanks in Psalms 100 is about, <laughs> you ready? <Yeah. laughs> Excitement. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You got to be excited when you open your eyes instead of complaining and murmuring and saying, wow, another day. You know, from Monday through Thursday, we just grab and complain. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, we wake up on Friday and say, thank God for Friday. Mm -hmm. Why don't we thank Him for all the other days? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excitement. Psalms 1, we talk about Psalms 100. All this word is this. Okay? Excited. Serving. Yeah. Coming before God, getting to know God, entering His gates, sacrifice, and blessing the Lord. Amen. So one Psalm 100 is full of action words. Yeah. You have to get excited. You know, you yeah. go to the bar, you go to the club, and they're playing some song, and you get all excited. You get on the floor, and you start moving all every which way, and say, wow, I didn't know that was, or he or she could do that. <laughs> we, we get before God and we're so quiet and so stiff. <laughs> we can't sing. We can't move on the floor. Man, you just making all kinds of moves. I said, wow. Yeah. Action. Be excited. Action words. <laughs> People get excited for sporting events when they get into the club, when they come to church. They're quiet as mouse. Uh -huh. Don't do anything. Come on, change that. Yes. You don't have to come to church. You are the church. Yes. When you get before Him, you can get excited. You can lay down. You can cry. You can raise your hands. You can Amen. do whatever. You can run around in circles. But still, it's okay to get excited. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because I'm serving Amen. the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Yes. I don't care who the president is. Yes. He's my president. Yes. Amen. But he tells me to pray for whoever's in office. Amen. Amen. So, Psalms 100, full of action words. Shout, serve, come, know, enter, give, and bless. Mm. So, you need to know these things. Yeah. So, yeah. cut loose. <laughs> People will see you and say, wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, we're going to have to pray for you. Oh, <laughs> 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 man. Yeah, what happened to you? I got saved. Hallelujah. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All these words are calling us to do something. Yes. The world wants us to do something too. You know, yeah. the enemy has imitate has a, 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 a copy of everything God has. Right. Uh -huh. Amen. He wants you to worship the world. He wants you to worship Him. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Lucifer was an archangel. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and he was... The praise and worship leader. He was just the, the praise archangel. Amen. <laughs> but guess what? He just wanted the praises to come to him and not God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And God says, I don't think so. <laughs> just shot him out of heaven. You know, pow. He was gone. <laughs> With a third of the angels. 
They joined him, so be careful who you hang around with. <laughs> Amen. Be thankful, grateful, not just in words, but also in the actions. Yeah. If you can do it at the club, if you can do it at the game, why not do it on the yes. him? Yep. Amen. Be celebrate Thanksgiving as a matter of being involved. Yeah. Get yourself involved. Daily. Yeah. Let him know. Amen. God calls us to be actively involved in giving thanks to Him. Again, 5 says, give thanks. It's something we must do daily, not once a year. Not just when things are all right. And that's what we do. You know what? Well, things are not so good right now, so I'm going to hold my thank yous. Mm. No, <laughs> don't do that. Mm -hmm. Or not just when I feel like doing it. Nobody's going to tell me what to do. That's right. right. Nobody's going to tell you what to do. You have your own free will, so you yeah. do what you want to do. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is a time to give thanksgiving and yeah, being grateful. Yeah. I thought you were going to hear this or not. Every day, daily, yeah. is a time to be grateful and give Him thanks and yeah. be being grateful unto Him. Praise God. We're not going to finish all this. Okay. But that's okay. Take your time. Amen. Giving thanks is about excitement. Again, verse 1 says, make a, a joyful shout. This is the New King James, or the King James, unto the Lord all ye lands. The NIV says, shout for joy to the Lord all the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So be excited. It's excitement. Amen. Be excited for him. Amen. <laughs> Aren't you glad that uh, on the way to the cross, Jesus just stopped, tells the Father, <laughs> I'm so sad and I don't want to go through with this, so just get me out of here. Find someone else. Man. Find someone else. That's right. <laughs> you know, so and so, you're always finding somebody else that can do it better. <laughs> but he didn't. Because when he felt the pressures, when he felt the weakness, when he felt whatever loneliness, when he felt whatever was trying to come against him, he always went to the Father yes. for strength. Yes. And we can do the same thing. He's our greatest example. We're supposed to imitate him. Yes. Amen. And go to the Father and say, you know, if you keep yourself full and not empty, you won't have this problem as much. Uh -huh. But when you empty yourself, the world's going to try to fill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the devil, enemy is going to see to it that he puts all kinds of beautiful things in front of you uh -huh. so that you can partake. <laughs> so keep yourself full of the word. Keep yourself full to overflowing. Yeah. So when you fill yourself, the faith is up. Mm -hmm. And the fear has to go. Yes. Amen. Yes. So <laughs> church, God made us to be people of emotions. Yeah. So that didn't come from, from you, it didn't come from, from the enemy. He made us to be people of emotions. Get excited, be joyful about what God is doing in your life. Thank you. He wants to do great things for you. Amen. But we're not stopping him because he said he's not in. But guess what? Jose is not opening. We need to open up. Amen. And let him in. It says, come into his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. Amen. We need to open up. <laughs> You're too blessed to be stressed. Amen. Quit holding all those burdens. Quit holding all them stresses. All, all them anxieties, Amen. you know. Mm -hmm. All those cares. And release them and cast them on him. Mm -hmm. Count your blessings. Yes. And you'll never stop. <laughs> The blessings will just keep coming as you serve him with excitement, with joy. Amen. Yeah. NIV says, yeah. shout for joy. So, you know, people out there shout at you all the time. No. And they don't say good things. Well, that's true. They say ugly things. <laughs> so, I can shout back with joy and yeah. shout something good. Yes. Amen. Remember, too, well, he's our God. He's our creator. He's our provider. He is our healer. He is almighty and he is awesome. He is an awesome God. He gave you a wake up call and a strength to get out of bed and yes. to be here and to be listening yes. to this. This message is for you. Yes. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yes, right, brother. We have to receive it because either he's going to uh, encourage us, change us, or correct us. I say, you know what? I need to make some adjustments. Yeah. On a daily basis, you know, hey, you can go from, uh, you can fly from New York to uh, L.A., but uh -huh. guess what? All of a sudden, 
<laughs> Something happened, storms or whatever came up. Mm -hmm. Hey, you got to make some adjustments and go with what God says. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I don't plan on going that way. So Jonah go to Nineveh. He said, well, I, I'm not going that way. I'm going somewhere else. The ship's going the other way. He said, okay. Well, along the way, <laughs> he made a, a quick adjustment. Yeah. He said, yeah. all you have to do is throw me out. So they did. <laughs> he threw him out. <laughs> Glad he wasn't about 30,000 feet up in the air. <laughs> but God will make a way. <laughs> he made a way. The fish came and swallowed him and delivered him where he had to go. <laughs> Amen. So we need to make adjustments all yeah. the time. Get our priorities in order. Our priority list should be God first. Yes. yes. All Absolutely. the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, not you. <laughs> But God, amen, take yourself off the throne and put God on that throne, amen. Mm -hmm. ah. So he gave you a wake-up call, gave you the strength to be to work, <laughs> be and do whatever you need to do. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we forget about it. We just leave him out. Mm -hmm. He's no longer on your list mm -hmm. to be grateful, to give thanks. He's mm -hmm. gone. <laughs> Until we hit a wall. Mm -hmm. Something bad happens, and then you say, well, you know what? <laughs> Somewhere along the road, I left God. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to go get him, pick him up again. Guess what? He's going to be there for you. Mm -hmm. He says he'll forgive you. Yes. He'll forgive me and forget. So we need to do is give him thanks and not forget to thank him all the time. Amen. Yes. So that's enough reason for He has given you all good gifts. He's put gifts in you. Yes. You don't know what they are. But as you visit with him and fellowship with him and have relationship with him, you'll find out. Yeah. And you start doing those gifts and say, you know what? You're gifted at this and that. Mm -hmm. And the world's <laughs> giving you all these accolades. Mm -hmm. But it's God that's giving it to you and God's going to promote you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. So you give him yes. thanks. That's enough reason to shout to the Lord. Shout for joy to the Lord. All ye earth. Amen. Yes. That's what he tells us to do. Amen. When all else fails, count on God. Why? Because he's always there. Yes, he says, yes. I'll never leave you, nor That's forsake right. you. That's right. Okay? Hebrews 13, 5 says, he'll never leave you, nor forsake you. He's always there for you. Mm -hmm. We need to be there for him. <laughs> we can count on him. Amen. Can he count on you? Mm -hmm. You know, we're part-time Christians demanding a full-time God. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Don't shout me down because I'm preaching good now. Mm. Full part-time Christians wanting a full-time God. Yeah. You know what happens when a part-time Christian meets a full-time devil? Mm. You ain't no match. Yeah. So we need to be full-time ourselves. Yes. Amen. <laughs> oh, he's a friend who will never let you down. Amen. Yeah. He will lead you through the dark valleys. Remember the song says, Word of God says too, says he's the God on the mountain mm -hmm. and he's God in the valleys. Mm -hmm. So whether you go up or down, mm -hmm. he's with you. Yes. And don't you forget that. That's Amen. Amen. He's prepared a feast for you when others have turned their back on you. Mm -hmm. it says in the presence of your enemy, you'll lay on his table. Mm -hmm. When everybody else gives up on you, he'll never give up on Amen. you. That's it. Huh? Amen. People give up on you quickly amen mm -hmm. and they'll find somebody else mm -hmm. but God will never quit you he'll never leave you yeah. oh, he will give you exciting abundantly about all you need yes. he is God he watches over you yeah. get excited about that and shout to the Lord amen, amen. Yeah. so praise God uh, do one more and then we're gonna stop and then we'll continue next week amen with giving thanks Giving thanks is about serving. Mm -hmm. Psalms 100 and verse 2 says, Serve the Lord with gladness, mm -hmm. not with sadness. Right. <laughs> Let's go to one of my favorite scriptures, which is uh, Colossians. And you know where I'm going now. Yep. Colossians chapter 3. <clears throat> 3 23. 24. 2 23. 3.23, Colossians 3, chapter 3, verse 23 and 24 says, And whatever ye do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, 
and not unto man, knowing that the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inherit of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you're gonna do it, do it as under him and do it with gladness, not sadness. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this under you. <laughs> you know, when you go to your job, when you go, uh, when I come to the church and do things around the church, nobody's watching me. I don't have to do it. But Lord, I'm doing this under you because I'm expecting God to visit us. I'm expecting God to be here. Wherever you happen to be, wherever you work, wherever, at, at your home, whatever you do, cleaning, whatever, Lord, I'm doing this under you. And he's going to bless you. I'm serving you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And a lot of people don't do that. But I'm serving you. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with joyful songs. Amen. So be excited about what you do. Amen. You know, I'm not just doing this for a paycheck. <laughs> I'm not doing it for the paycheck. I'm doing this under you, Lord. Amen. And he's going to keep you healthy. And he's going to provide Amen. all your needs. Amen. <clears throat> God has always asked his people to serve him. He told Pharaoh, let my people go, that they will serve me in the wilderness. And this is Exodus 7 and 16 says, Then he said to him, Pharaoh, the Lord, the God, <clears throat> the God of, the heaven, of the Hebrews, has sent me to say to you, let my people go. See, we're his. Yeah, this is the Old Testament, but still, when you've accepted him, he says, you're my child now. Yes. He's our heavenly father. He says, he says, let my people go mm -hmm. so that they may worship me in the wilderness. But until now, you have not listened. <laughs> Bad things coming to them. God's going to jump on them and get them. Because he says, let my people go. He told Moses to guide his people, lead his people. And he did. And there was a lot of things happening in between. He, he took a, a, a seven-day journey and turned it into uh, a long time, many years, yes. 40 years. That's a long time. <laughs> so, you know what? <laughs> you can do it his way. You have to go around in circles. Go around the mountain. Yeah, go around the mountain. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you've got a plan, but God has a plan for you. If you do follow his plan, no problems. But if you've got a plan and you want God to bless it, well, do his plan. It's already blessed. Yes. Amen. 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 God's deepest desire is to have his people serve him. Yeah. You remember that. You're part of God's people. So whatever you do, get it right. Put him on the list. Put him on the throne <laughs> and serve him. Yes, thank you. Because he wants, he wants you to serve him. Amen. He's not talking about anybody else. I'm personalizing this. I'm making this <laughs> my Bible. Right. And this is the word of God for me. Yes. My, God's deepest desire is for to have his people, to have Jose serve him. Mm -hmm. So you put your name there. He wants you to serve him. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. Jesus says we yeah. are to make service to God a priority in our lives. Yes. Man, that's deep. Yes, it is. So, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Amen. God wants more than just us, uh, us to serve him. He wants us to serve him with gladness. Yes. You know, remember the story of Mary, Mary and Martha? Yes. Mary saw Jesus and came and worshipped him gladly. <laughs> and Martha's over there doing work and too busy to pay attention that that's the master mm -hmm. sitting there and yet she's more concerned about what's going on came and told Jesus, you need to correct her and, and have her come and, and help me finish all my work. Mm. Instead of saying, forgive me, Lord. Mm. I see you now, and I come to worship you. I come to serve you and get whatever he, he needs. Amen, whatever he wants. We should consider it an honor and a privilege to serve him. We should count it a joy to be able to serve the Lord. Amen, we're going to stop there. <clears throat> but we need some attitude adjustments. Amen. <laughs> we need to fall in love with our God. Yes. If you haven't fallen in love with your God, <laughs> you need to get saved. <laughs> you need to open up and let him come in. Amen. All you have to do is repent and say, and say Lord Jesus, <laughs> I've sinned against you. Come into my heart be my Lord and Savior. If you've said that, 
You know he's going to come in? And then you're going to start serving him with gladness. Amen. Amen. And fall in love with your God. You know what? He loved you so much. The Bible says, for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. That whosoever, you that whosoever, you know, he did it for you. And he gave Jesus, sacrificed Jesus for us. That's how much he loved us. So we need to fall in love with him and serve him with gladness. Verse says, verse 1 says, make a joyful shout. Shout for joy with excitement. Yes. And verse 2 says, giving thanks is about serving. It's about serving him. So we're going to find out what the rest of the scriptures talk about. But we need to make some adjustments. Have an attitude of gratitude and have an attitude of <laughs> Lord, I want I want to serve you. Yes. Amen. And no griping, no complaining. Mm -hmm. When you know you're doing it under Him, it's not time to do that. That's right. Amen. So praise God. I hope uh, that blessed you. Thank you, Lord, for your yeah. precious word. We just want to be obedient and do what you've called us to do, Father. Yeah. And that is to serve you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Well, I already. Ask you if you never asked Jesus in your heart. Now's the time. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's never too late. People give up on you. People tell you. Uh, people will tell you, uh, you, you. You've gone too far. He won't forgive you now. It's too late. No, it's never too late. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says all you have to do is repent. Yes. Ask forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Forgive all your sins. And cleanse you of all the righteousness and come and be your Lord and Savior. That's all. You have to say it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll, you'll do that. If you've, done, if you've said that, start living for Him. Start reading the Word and get full of the Word. Amen. All these other negative things will come out of you. Yes. will go out of you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. If you need healing, all you have to do is say, Lord, by yes. Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Because that's what the Word of God says. But you don't understand. You don't know how I feel. Well, <laughs> that feeling has to line up with the Word of God. Regardless of what your body is telling you. Yes. Lord, I'm speaking healing into those bodies right now in Jesus' name. Whatever area of your body needs a touch of God, receive it now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. From the crown of their head to the soles of their feet. It says, by Jesus Christ, you were healed. Mm -hmm. So, body, receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, Amen. praise God. Believe it. Receive it. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Woo. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. If you're watching or listening, uh, you still have a chance to uh, give your tithes and your offerings. So, you can go to our website, NBCBigBig.com, and hit that donate button. Thank you. Or if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And uh, again, we want to say uh, a happy Thanksgiving. And do it with an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Do it with a grateful heart. Amen. So praise God. God bless you. And uh, thank you for joining us. Let us pray. Amen.